What's up, everybody? I am back again with another video, and today we'll be going on another funny ass MMSL movie reaction. Oh, let me read the title for y'all. Hold on for a sec. Jeffy's Voice Changer. Yo, I, I, yo, I've been watching like MMSL movies for a while, but I stopped reacting to it because I want to react to other different videos. So I'm gonna react to this a third video today. So y'all know to do like comment subscribe turn on the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video and let's get into it jeffy come on let's go we gotta go to chuck e cheese marvin we're not taking him to chuck e cheese i thought we were taking him to the doctor to get a shot well, shh, baby we are taking him to get shots but jeffy's not gonna willingly go to the doctor's office to get shots shots ah! You're not sticking a needle in my pee-pee! Jeffy, they're not gonna stick you in the pee-pee with a needle. They're gonna stick it in your arm. Same thing! I hate needles! And my old mommy loved them! I'm not going! Ah! Oh, great, baby. Now he's never gonna get in the car to go to the doctor's office. Marvin, just give him a few minutes to calm down. Oh, we're gonna be late, and Dr. Brooke guy said don't be late to the appointment. <sighs> okay, Junior, your turn. Oh, I'm gonna make your guy sink in the sand. No, uh -uh. It's called sink in sand, and that's what your guy's gonna do. No, you're gonna sink. But your guy's already fallen over, Cody. That's just one leg. Uh -oh. All right, your turn. Uh oh, I'm tipping. You're tipping. Uh, okay, well, he's not sinking, he's falling over. He just fell Does over. That count? No, he just fell over. Okay. All right, your turn. Go! I'll do it. Wait, why? Because I have to get my shots. Well, you gotta get your shots, Jeffy. You don't want to get the mumps or the black plague. You're right. I don't want to be black. Well, instead of going to your appointment, you want to sit here and play sink and sand with me and Cody? I want to eat the sand. It looks like cookie dough. But guys, my daddy's gonna make me go to my doctor's appointment, and I don't want shots. What do I do? <laughs> that does not taste good. Well, Cody, do you think you can invent a voice changer to make Jeffy sound like the doctor so he can call his dad and cancel the appointment? No, no, I don't think I could do that. Because I already fucking did. Check it out, bitches. Wait, that's a voice changer? Yeah, it makes you sound like anybody in the entire world. You just think about their voice and you sound like them. Like, you want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger? Nah, get to the chopper. Those are my wife's cookies. Put the cookie down. Get the turbo man down. I was the governor of California. I'll be back. See, it works. You sound just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, here you go, Jeffy. I like it a butt sex. It feel nice. Jeffy, you didn't turn it on. Oh. Marvin, I'm gonna have to cancel the doctor's appointment. I'm gonna put my arm in a giraffe's asshole. You sound just like the doctor. So, I did? Yeah, so if you call your dad, you can you tell him that you wanna cancel the appointment. Okay, I'm gonna go do that right now. In 30 seconds, I'm gonna drag Jeffy out of his room. Marvin, don't be so mean to Jeffy. He needs to go to his doctor's appointment. He needs his shots. Oh, look, Jeffy's calling. He's probably trying to get out of his appointment. Hello? Hey, Daddy. What, doctor? Yeah, I'm just calling to say, mm, and also to cancel Jeffy's doctor's appointment today. So he doesn't need his shots. Happy time. Wait, well, why are you canceling the appointment? Well, because I have to go to the local zoo, because there's a giraffe there with two penises, and I have to cut one of them off, so I'm not going to be able to give Jeffy his shots. Oh, okay, but doesn't Jeffy need his shots? Nope, no, he doesn't. And also, Jeffy's blood work came back, and it turns out that he never, ever, never, ever needs to eat green beans ever again, because he's deathly allergic to them. Oh. Uh uh, okay, well, we didn't do blood work with Jeffy. Yes, we did, because I'm a doctor and I'm smart, and I did that. Oh, oh, okay, well, I guess we won't feed him green beans anymore. I have some questions for you, though, doctor. What's that, daddy? Why are you calling me daddy? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't call you that, because I'm a doctor and you're not my dad. Yeah, and also, why are you calling from Jeffy's phone? You didn't block your fucking number, you idiot! I don't know how to do that! Well, you better come up with something! Uh, hold on, I think I have a lie. Uh, well, last time I was over there, I accidentally grabbed your son's phone and took it with me, but I'll give it back to you later. Uh, okay, doctor. Okay, bye. Don't come to the appointment. Who was that, Marvin? It was the doctor canceling Jeffy's shot appointment today. Oh, well, Jeffy will be glad about that. I don't think today was a good day for it. Yeah, let me go tell Jeffy he got lucky. Guys, I think it worked. I think my daddy believed it. Except for the part where the doctor apparently has your phone. Oh, my daddy's not gonna care. He probably doesn't even remember. Hey, Jeffy. Oh, hey, daddy. Uh... What, don't throw it, you're gonna break it. Break what? Nothing. Well, Jeff, you got lucky. The doctor called and canceled your appointment for your shots. Darn, I was really looking forward to that. He also said you can't eat green beans anymore. Double darn, my favorite food. Wait, Jeff, is that your phone? Uh, yeah. Well, the doctor said he had your phone. How do you have it? No, he just dropped it off. He threw it through the window. Oh, well, that's believable. All right, well, Jeffy, I'll let you know when the appointment's rescheduled. All right, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. 
All right, I told Jeffy. Was he happy? Yeah. What's wrong, Marvin? I don't know. That call just seemed very weird. It just seemed weird. Why do you say that? I don't know. It was just weird. Jeffy, you're lucky you didn't break this thing. I'm sorry. I just didn't want my dad to see it. He already saw it before you threw it. Well, maybe he didn't. We should screw with more people with the voice changer. Like who? Like Chef PP. You could call him and pretend to be a hot girl. Or Margot Robbie. And then tell him that you're laying in the bunk bed. And he's going to come up here thinking Margot Robbie's here, but she's not. Why would Margot Robbie be in your bunk bed? I, I, I don't know, but he has to believe it because he hears her voice. Yeah. Oh, you know what would be really cool? If we turn off all the lights in here and then we call him as Margot Robbie. And then he comes in here naked. And then I'm in the bed dressed up like a girl. And I use the voice changer to sound like Margot Margot Robbie and tell him to get in bed with me, and then we go all the way. Wouldn't that be really funny, you guys? I think we should just do the call. Yeah, okay, we'll see where it goes. I'm gonna go get my phone. All right, guys, I got my phone. Cody, why are you already dressed like a girl? Because I'm supposed to be Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie has blonde hair. Well, it's not gonna matter. The lights are gonna be out. I just needed to give Chef Pee Pee something to pull. Cody, you're not gonna be getting in bed with Chef Pee Pee. You're just supposed to be calling him. I said we'll see where it goes. Now call Chef Pee Pee and block my number. It's Cone. Yes, very good, Jeffy. That is corn. All right, I'll call Chef Pee Pee. Oh, man, you gotta try this sandwich. It's no ordinary sandwich. It's a sausage biscuit with grape jelly. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Wait, who's calling me? I'm blocked. Uh, hello? Hello, this is Margot Robbie. Is this Chef Pee Pee? Uh, yeah, this is Chef Pee Pee. Well, like, Margot Robbie? What you find ass doing calling this time of night? Because I think you're so sexy, Chef Pee Pee, and you have the best cooking. <laughs> you know I got the best cooking, but of course, I'm Chef Pee Pee, baby. <laughs> How about you come up and serve me up some Italian sausage right now? Oh, oh, oh Italian sausage? You know I'm packing. I'll give it to you any time of the day. Just give me the addy, baby. I'm upstairs in your bunk bedroom, isn't it? Wait, upstairs in the bunk bedroom? What you doing here? That's right, crikey. Come get in this rude pouch. <laughs> oh, Michael, I'm coming. Okay, guys, he's on his way up. Everybody get out of here and turn off the lights. Why don't we just yell pranked when he opens the door? No, that's lame. I gotta commit to the role. I'm sorry, I didn't take you guys for complete pussies. Did you know corn is ribbed for pleasure? Well, that's good to know. If things don't work out with Chef Peepee, I could use that. All right, Jeffy, come on, let's go. Junior, the lights. Oh, yeah. Wait, Cody, put your clothes back on. No, it's for the prank. It's going to be funny. He's going to laugh. <sighs> Not bringing your sunglasses on a sunny day Try is a bad one. decision. Thanks. Getting a new Volkswagen at the Savvy VW. <sighs> Junior, Margot Robbie's in there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like we're gonna be Eskimo bros. <laughs> How was it? Wait, wait, don't tell me. I like a surprise. Oh, Margo. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> I got a polo. You can ride, girl. <laughs> uh, girl, where you at? You know it's dark as hell in here. Can I turn on the light? No, don't turn on the light. I'm in bed, already naked and soggy for ya. Oh, you know I like my women like I like my frosted flakes, soggy as fuck. Get in here, big boy. Ooh, -hoo, you nasty. You like to get down to business. All right, girl. <laughs> Come give it to me, peepers. Oh shit, the batteries ran out. What the fuck? Wait, hold on. Cody, what the hell are you doing? You gross as hell. What's wrong with you? We can still do it. I'm down. Oh, no! Oh, my God, Robbie! Oh, I was so close. No, <laughs> this is messed up. This is messed up. Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. Does anybody have any triple A's? Hey, man. Oh, hey. What the fuck? What's wrong? We had an appointment and you just left me hanging, dog. What's that about? What? Y you called the- The one time I don't come over here and we make an appointment at my office, you just don't show up? What the fuck is wrong with you? Who does that? I'm a doctor. I went to college. Magnum cum laude. That's what they called me. I had terrible grades, but I'm still a doctor. What? You called and you canceled the appointment. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. You called and said you had to remove a giraffe's penis. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you on drugs? What? No, you, you called me from my son's phone and said you had to remove a giraffe's penis penis because he had two. What the fuck? I don't understand what the fuck you're talking about. I called you from your son's phone and that didn't raise any suspicions? Well, I mean, you said that you- Where would I get his phone? You said you took it and that you, you had to give it back. You threw it through the window back at him. I threw it through the wit- Oh, you are pissing me the fuck off right now. Where is your son? I'm giving him the shot. Oh, he's really scared right now. I don't think you'll be able to give him that shot. That's okay. I'll just do what I do with my dog. Hold on. Okay, so my dog's really bad about taking medicine, so I usually just hide his pill in a piece of bologna, so that's what I'm gonna do with your son's shot. You're gonna make Jeffy bite a needle? No, I'm gonna pretend I'm handing him a piece of bologna, and when he goes to reach for it, I'm gonna stick him in the arm. But that's gonna traumatize Jeffy! Yeah, well, you didn't show up for your appointment, so this is what you get, a bologna needle. Now, where the fuck is your son? Jeffy, get in here! Yeah, Daddy? The doctor has something for you. You want this piece of bologna? No. Oh, well, 
can you throw this piece of bologna away for me? No. Oh, well, I will pay you a hundred bucks to touch this piece of bologna. Show me the money. Uh, okay. All right, here's your hundred. Give me. Fuck! <laughs> Every... <laughs> yeah, and I get to keep my hundred. I hate my daddy! He tricked me into getting a shot! He tricked you? Yeah, and now I want revenge! Well, I changed the batteries on the voice changer, so it should work now. It died at the worst possible time for me. Well, I need to sound like my daddy, because there's a guy that he owes money to named Mr. Goodman. And I'm going to call Mr. Goodman, pretending to be my daddy, and tell him that I have the money that I owe him. And then, when Mr. Goodman shows up, he's going to get mad at my daddy for lying. Oh, that'd be really awesome. All right, here's the voice changer. All right, thank you, Cody. Mm. How's the pressure fall you so? Harder, Rafiki. Come on, Rafiki, you earn your money harder! Uh, 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 now pull my hair! Uh, 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 uh. Alright, that's enough, Rafiki. It's time for you to wax my ass crack. Get the duct tape! I have dingleberries in there for you. I want you to chew on them like hubba bubba. Uh, Alright, now pull it on three. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Uh, hello? This is Jeffy's dad. Marvin, why are you calling yourself that? Because I am Jeffy's dad. Well, what do you want, Marvin? I'm in the middle of getting a massage from Rafiki. Don't I owe you money? Every fucking month, but you never pay it. Well, I have all the money I could ever owe you ever, ever, never. Oh, you do? You have all the money you could ever want that I owe you. Hold on, like you have enough money to pay off your entire house? Yup. And all your credit cards? Yup. Rafiki, pull it. You're not fucking with me, are you? No, nope, I have all the money. All right, because if you're fucking with me and I get there and I don't have any fucking money, I'm gonna get a ninja katana and slice your balls in half like fruit ninja. I have all the money and hundred dollar bills waiting for you. All right, I'm on my way. Good news, Rafiki. You don't have to get a mouth load of warm Goodman soup. Oh, thank God. Ugh. Sorry I got bologna juice all over your couch. You know, it's actually the second time I've said that to someone today. What? Listen, next time we have plans, how about you do them, okay? What, you, you're the one no, who- No, 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 I don't want to hear your excuses. We had an appointment and you stood me up, okay? I thought we were friends. If I invite you over to my birthday party, you're going to show up or you're going to stand me up again. If I invite you over to a cookout, you're going to show up? Well, you're the one who said that, that, that you were canceling the appointment. See, that's the worst kind of lie. You can't make the lie about me. I know what I did and didn't do. <sighs> I'm sorry. There. Right there. That's what I was waiting for. Okay, bring it in. Give me a hug. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Thank you. I needed this. Okay. Now, any leftovers in your fridge? We have pizza from last night. I'm on it. <sighs> Who's at the door? Hello? Hey, Marvin. I'm ready. For what? For you to pay me all the money you owe me for your house payment and your credit cards. I'm happy and I'm ready. Nothing can ruin this day, so give me. Well, what makes you think I have all the money to pay you all that? <laughs> That's a funny joke, Marvin. Just one more joke before I never have to come to your house every single month and ask you for your house payment. That's a rich joke. I like that one, Marvin. But uh, that's enough kidding around, so give me. I, I, I don't have all that money, Goodman. What would make you think I have all that money? You personally called me and interrupted my massage with Rafiki to tell me you had all the money for your house payment and all the money for your credit card payments, and I said, okay, I'm on my way, and you said, okay, good. What? That, 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 that did not happen. I did not call you. I don't, I don't have the money. Marvin, you know I have a katana, right? What, what, what's, what's that for? I'm going to play Fruit Ninja with your balls if you don't give me the money for your house payment and the credit cards. I don't have the money. All right, Marvin. Now you pull out those shriveled up little raisin balls of yours because they're coming home with daddy. Come here. Ah! Hey, guys, it's Logan. Thank you guys so much for helping us reach our goal of selling two thousand jeffy pianos the jeffy piano will only be available until july 31st so if you still want one go on smlmerch.com right now and pre-order yours now thank you so much for being amazing fans we love you guys and i can't wait to make more videos for you when it comes to your wellness routine the details are the difference dove men body wash with plant-based more yo yo that was too funny oh my god Oh, damn. Like, I'm going to say this to y'all. I always got love for the MMSL movie, all the funny ass videos and shit. This is too funny. Oh, my God, y'all. So, anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for being so patient.
so y'all know to do like comment subscribe turn on the notifications and make sure you don't miss another video and i will see y'all guys in the next time video peace